This is just my opinion. Hello and welcome to This Is Just My Opinion. Um, this week on This Is Just My Opinion, I will be talking to you about The Wall, uh, Pink Floyd's album and the film based on it. Uh, I want to start off by saying that I am a big Pink Floyd fan. I love Pink Floyd's music. Um, I, I I have loved it for a long time and I, I, I think that they have made some incredible albums and some fantastic uh, pieces of music. They, they, they're just, the, the, uh, the music they write, it, it really kind of gets into you or into me anyway, and I really love it. Um, having said that, I think The Wall is possibly one of the most self-indulgent, boring, um lifeless pieces of uh work that Pink Floyd ever ever put out. Um it it does absolutely nothing for me. It leaves me cold. I can't understand why firstly why it is uh revered so much and secondly why it became so popular. There are so many albums by them that are so much better and so many songs from those albums that are so much better. I mean, there is even, I mean, even the songs that they released as singles or that people do with cover, with cover bands, uh, you know, are just so dull and boring. I mean, you know, another brick in the wall is so dull and um, comfortably numb. It's, it's such a boring song. And, and and then we get onto the film. Now the film was even more overblown and self-indulgent and um, pointless than the album. It it kind of they tried to do too much with it, I think, and it. It didn't work for me at all. I think that the imagery in it, a lot of the imagery in it was just kind of like, um, it was verging on the surreal without needing to be. Um, although I, I respect the guy immensely for a lot of reasons, and I think that some of his music uh, over the years has been quite good, I don't think that Bob Geldof is an actor. Um, he he can't act, and he is absolutely rubbish in that film. And the film itself is just so boring and dull and lifeless and overlong. And I've even seen the live performances that they've done of the, the whole album with the wall being built and broken down and all that kind of thing. And even that doesn't, it, it just doesn't, stir me at all it, it doesn't have any kind of life to it for me it's it just it's so overblown so self-indulgent and so boring and, and and I don't know how you can do something that is it is kind of hugely hugely uh huge in its pomposity but but so lifeless it doesn't make sense to me and i i never liked the album i've never liked the songs from the album really i've never liked the film i watched watched it once i listened to the album the full album three times didn't like it any single time don't still don't uh i've watched the film once don't want to ever want to watch it again um and I've watched the live concerts. I watched three different live concerts and they're all just so boring. Um, if you want to listen to a good Pink Floyd album, listen to Wish You Were Here or um, Animals or uh, Atom Heart Mother or any of those. They're really good albums. Or go a bit earlier, listen to things like Obscured by Cloud. Uh, skewed by clouds or um medal 
things like that. It's really, really good stuff. Uh, but this, just give this a miss. I mean, even, you know, coming more up to date, The Division Bill, that's a great album. You know, I mean, it just, I don't know what it was, but somewhere in the middle of this, in the middle of their career, around the time they did The Wall, everything just kind of went wrong. And and it it just does nothing for me. And the film was even worse than the album because it, it kind of took the album and I think they tried to make it too literal and too it's like a it's like a collection of pop videos, very badly interpreted pop videos, nailed together to try and make some kind of um narrative. And I don't think it works very well at all. Um and in many ways it's kind of like it, it it's kind of like a, a slightly surreal and over the top version of of uh, Stardust, um, the uh, the uh, film that David Essex was in many years ago. I just I don't know. It does nothing at all for me, and I don't don't get don't get it at all. Um, but as I have said before, and as I say every week, this is just my opinion. If you disagree with my opinion, please let me know, and let me know what your opinion is. Maybe you might be able to change one. I don't know. I doubt it, but you never know. Um, so until next time, thank you very much for listening to, uh, for listening to me rant, and uh, I will see you again soon. Thank you very much. Bye. This is just my opinion.